This is the almighty fresh and frozen. Uh, this is where you can come and collect your bait pretty much at any time of day, early morning, late in the evening. If you round East Sussex and you're fishing East Form, bright and even, then you've got to come through this way. Absolutely, stop off the fresh and frozen. Top points. Pick it up some lug, some squid, and some bluey, and a couple of bait elastics, and then we're gonna go and head out on deep blue again for some rays. Was meant to be going out on the kayak this morning, but um, that plan changed just as I was about to leave the door, so <laughs> probably for the better, as uh, I'm currently suffering what we call long COVID. Right, let's get this shit. On. We're just talking to the harbour now just to make sure the gate is open here at uh, Sovereign Harbour at Eastbourne to make sure that we can go straight out and that's the way half an hour to open time. Things cross this. Right, so we're at the uh, Raymark, which I regularly fish um, about this time of year. Um, if we take back a year, we caught uh, eight or nine in a session about now, so hopefully they'll be about. They should be. We're not far out at all. Um, I won't give, won't, won't exactly give the mark away, but people who watch my previous videos on the kayak will roughly know where I am, but we're off Eastbourne Seafront. We've got plenty of rods, a load of bait in there, and uh, the anchor's down, and we're just gonna sit back, relax, get some good filming done hopefully, and catch a few fish. So, let's get out. Right boys and girls, ray fishing, very, very simple. All you need is a trace. I don't make my traces too long because it just encourages the swallowing of the hook. So that is about ooh, three foot. We get two hooks and to bait up the squid, which is all we're gonna use, we just knit it on, so simple. Um, hopefully the rays will be here today. If they are, we will, we will, we will catch them. How are you doing Nick, how are you? So feed it in and it just goes in, out. You've got a bit rough haven't you? Like that. Bring your other hook down to there. One, two, nick it in the top. And that is your ray bait, bit of elastic. And we'll get it out there. Fingers crossed. So that's your set up. You don't need a boom, but um, I've just got a boom on that one. Six ounce weight and then your trace. Nice coloured up water, lovely coloured up, and we'll cast it sort of 30, 40 yards that way and let it run away from the boat. Hopefully, pick up some fornies. I'm pretty sure we should do today. So it should have been on my kayak sitting here, but I'm on a lovely, beautiful deep blue. There we go, boys, we've got a bite. We've literally been here a couple of minutes um, and we've had bite on the bluey, bite on the squid, and we've got bites on here. Got a little bit of lugworm and a little bit of squid on this. Uh, so we've got, we've got a bite on that right hand rod. With a ray, they'll they'll just pull the rod over. You'll know. You'll know straight away. Yep, there we go. Here we go. This is a nice fish. Hey, the dogfish. Blooming, blooming it. What did I say, Simon? I said we don't get any dogfish in this spot. <coughs> and then we go and pick one up. <laughs> oh well, well Oxley's interested. He's like, what's this? Yeah, a dog. It's Christmas with a dog, isn't it? <laughs> Christened it with a dog. Doggy dog. There we go. Another dogfish on the light rod. Not <laughs> what we're after. I think we're gonna get a few of them today. There's so many around. There was a match uh, on the shore the other day, which won Fresh and Frozen uh, Twitchy Tips match. 
18 pounds of, of fish, and the majority of that was dogfish. So um, there's a lot about. If we can get get in between them, um, hopefully we'll pick up something a little more interesting. But there might be some place around today as well, so we'll have to see. But uh, they'll be there. It's just getting through the dogfish now onto a better fish. Simon's got one rod out, and he's just had a a little inquiry. But will it be anything? Lost it. Bugger. Oh no. Oh no, it's still there. Something on. Might be a dogfish. Oh, I've got a bite. There we go. Here we go. There's... Bites galore today. But uh, <laughs> there you go, look at that. That's a good bite. There's a bit of bluey on that. I'm hoping that'll be a ray and not a dogfish. Oh no, it's a dog. You got a doggy? Simon's got a doggy over there. There he comes in. That's a bait as well, you know. Yeah, he's a decent bite because he's quite a big one. Oxley's having a little, little look. Two, two dogfish. <laughs> we are hauling boys. Right, so we've probably been fishing for about uh, an hour, something like that, maybe a little bit longer. Lots of dogfish, we've probably had 10, 15 dogfish. Um, I think we're in, Six metres of water at the moment, so that's six, twelve, twenty-one, twenty-two foot of water, something like that. When it gets to about thirty for thirty-five foot of water, um, that's when usually um, the rays are a little bit more productive. But at the moment, we've just got a lot, a lot of dogfish. But we're catching, and hopefully, we shall stay. This is what I say: we've got dogfish, and Simon's fighting a ten-pound ray behind me bend in this rod that these dogfish put up. They're quite big dogfish today to be honest with you. Unless, oh he's got a double shot of dogfish you see. There's a lot of dogfish out there. Blooming things. One. <laughs> Two. There we go. Two of the blaters. <laughs> We are hauling. If only they were uh, prime fish, we could uh, we could make fortunes today. Rock salmon. That's it. We need to, we need to bring it back. Good rock salmon in the fish and chip shops, and we'll be uh, we'll be in business. Got a bite on that one. We've got a running a running joke now that uh, every time we get a fish, we're thinking, oh, it's a ray. Well, I do. On a, on the light rod, but they're. A huge dogfish, you know, that's a two pound dogfish. Um, and on light gear, they feel we've got a good, good bite on there. That'll probably, that'll probably be a, that'll probably be a doggy. Oh, a dogfish, I think. Another dogfish for a change. That's it. Yeah, I must be loving. Hello. Thing is, whether you hate them or you love them, you're always going to get them. Well, we've been inundated with dogfish today, but we've got a bit of a scrap, and it's bound to be what we think it's going to be. But, oh, that, whoa, look at that. Hey. Where's that net gone? <laughs> That's a lovely place. Oh. Hey, yeah. Yes. That's a decent that one. It's lovely. That is more like it. Stunning. Uh, well, that's about a pound and a half, isn't it? Two pounds. Look at that. Beautiful colours and a very, very nice size indeed. Well done, Simon. Well, so far, place and all them dogfish, but Simon's in um, to probably another dogfish, but... Yeah, it's gone late. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of... A bit weird, isn't it? Is it going to be something nice? Are we going to see a... Oh, no, it's a cat shark. Just what I wanted. 
There is a lot of dogfish around today um, and there's not really much you can do about them opposed to just keep winding in and getting baits out of there. Um, I can't believe the amount of dogfish there is. I've never had so many on this mark ever, but uh, it is what it is. We can just keep persevering and just trying to get through them really. This is what we are absolutely plagued with today. We must have had a hundred of them. Very, very irritating thing. You want your bait to stay down a bit longer so the rays come out to actually eat it. But unfortunately the dogfish are attacking it as soon as it gets down there. So. Oh well, we can only keep trying. And uh, hope one bait stays out for longer than a couple of minutes. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, look what we have here. Um, we have a whiting, which is new species for the day. Not what we're after. But saying that, the uh, small boat sea fishing um, page is another species. So a whiting. There we go. Right, double shot of whiting. See, we haven't had any of these all day, and all of a sudden I've had three in the last sort of 10, 15 minutes. Um, and they're not necessarily good fish, but it's just an interesting observation. It's just an interesting observation that uh, a slight change in, in flooding tide, see it's ebbing tide now, um, brings on slightly different fish. Um, but, you know, Maybe, hopefully the dogfish will be disappearing and we might get a few more different species, but another winter whiting. Well, spring, technically it is spring, it's uh, equinox the other day. Right, let's get the rod back out there and uh, try and get something a bit better. Nice big plate will be alright. Right, so new species for the day. Thank you very much. Uh, little, little place which is always nice to get something a bit different. But beautiful stunning colours on that. A nice fish to, to catch. Felt a bit different on the way up, so yeah, he's all right. And one thing I've got to remember to do, uh, species card for the small boat sea fishing page. Pop that up and pop Mr. Place next to it. Oof. There we go. Happy days. Oh. Right, so the, for the more uh, eagle-eyed out there of you, you might notice the background is ever so slightly different. We've moved um, a little bit nearer the pier uh, as we got a little bit fed up of, uh, of dogfish. Um, obviously the tide's ebbing now, hence why we're pointing towards those beautiful cliffs over there, which you can't see too well because of the fog. We're hoping to have got away from the dogfish, but uh, you know, this, this is just a day of seeing what's out there. Um, it's still that season with crossover between the summer species and the winter species, so it's never going to be easy, but there hopefully will be something slightly more exciting than a cat shark. But a stunning day, and uh, you can't really complain when it's beautiful, flat, calm like this, and you're on a stunning boat. Just need some stunning rays. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you feel sorry for us? You gotta feel sorry for us. We're uh, we're trying very hard today, but the dogfish are relentless. I mean, look at this. All tangled up with each other. One trace and two dogfish. Part. <laughs> what can we do? Right boys and girls, we were very fed up with the dogfish. Um, we haven't been excited by them all day, but we're trying a last ditch attempt to get something which isn't a dogfish for you guys. We're trying our very hardest. Unfortunately, there's just a lot of dogfish out there. Um, we're in a lot deeper water now. There's a bite on that squid straight away. No prizes, I think what it might be. <laughs> Deep, deeper water and um, different location, you never know, it's all, all to play for. We've got about half an hour, 45 minutes left. Let's 
say that. A fisherman's half an hour, 45 minutes is always more than an average person's. Right, I'm gonna get a weight on that, put some uh, lug worm and just see if we can pick out something which isn't a dogfish. Well, boys and girls, another species, just a little, a little dab. Um, which is better than catching a dogfish or a whiting, so. And it's another species for the small boats. Get the bait off. Wipe it on my nice hoodie, why not? Right, one dab and one card. There we go. Happy days. Mr. Whiting. Just shows you come to a slightly deeper water and then uh, you get some slightly different fish. Right, well, we're back where we started. Um, tricky, tricky day. I mean, it's dogfish galore, really, wasn't it? But um, it is what it is. But we had a nice, very nice place, uh, 1.8 pounds. Um, so it was 1.12 ounces, something like that. So really nice fish. Um, and then what else do we have? Whiting, dogfish, and a, a dab. So a few bits and bobs. Massive thanks to Deep Blue again. We'll, uh, we'll plug it in down below, so make sure you hit the website and there'll be an icon appearing here about now. Click on that, that takes you to the website, have a little look. Normally the fishing is better, it's just, we didn't go very far today, we're just testing it out, getting some nice photography and seeing what's out there at the same time, so all wasn't wasted. Thank you very much for watching and see you again next time.